Hey there, how's it going? This is Scott Tuzana here, and lately I've been hearing from a lot of my friends in the forums and online support communities, kind of complaining a bit about some lower back soreness and tightness right across uh, the belt area of the lower back region. And they've been kind of looking for, asking uh, for some solutions to kind of relieve some of that pain and tension in the lower back. Now before I get into um, my tips and tricks to kind of relieve some of that lower back pain from the experience that I've gone through, I've got to say I am not a doctor, physician, massage therapist, or chiropractor, nor do I play one on TV. Uh, this is just uh, advice that I am sharing that has helped me uh, relieve some lower back tension and uh, tightness and soreness. Uh, so if you are experiencing pain, uh, soreness in your lower back, I do highly recommend that you do consult your physician. It's not something you want to mess around with and play around with. Um, so you want to make sure it's not more severe than it actually is. Uh, so the tips that I'm providing today are more for the tightness and a little bit of soreness. It's not like sharp pain in your back. And one of the causes of this lower back tension is usually not the back muscles themselves at all. Oftentimes the lower back pain, tightness, tension uh, originates in the glutes, especially that's been my experience. The pain has originated with knots in the glutes, tightness in the quads, all the way down to the knees or the hamstrings. Uh, oftentimes if you have knots in your glutes, it's going to impact your hip flexors and IT bands. So uh, what I'll be demonstrating over the next few videos is exercises to loosen up those areas. Today I want to focus specifically on the glutes uh, and oftentimes the concern uh, and the questions come from my friends in these support communities and, and forums uh, after a leg workout. So they've done a leg workout, they didn't feel any pain during it, but the next day they're complaining about the tightness in their lower back. So at first they were questioning, was their form okay? Do you think they might have hurt themselves uh, doing a squat or deadlift or something like that? And oftentimes it's just, you worked your, your glutes hard in a certain exercise, leg exercise, it may have been lunges or something like that. You got knots in your glutes, uh, it took overnight for that to happen, and now you're experiencing the tension and the pain. So we're going to work out those knots, and what we're going to use is a golf ball or a bocce ball. I prefer the bocce ball, it's not quite as painful as a golf ball may be, and bocce is a fun game to play as well. So if you're going to invest in bocce balls or you already have a bocce ball system, it's, it's fun. It's multi-purpose. Golf balls, I mean, you can pick them up used, super duper cheap pennies, basically. I prefer hard balls over tennis balls and racquetballs because they'll put a lot more pressure. The idea of this is very similar to massage, getting a deep tissue massage where you're really at the massage therapist is focusing on those trigger points. Uh, feeling those knots and if you've ever had a deep tissue massage where the therapist used their thumb or their elbow where they put pressure it hurt like hell on the knot and you can kind of feel that knot it's pulsating it can feel like shoot down the muscle right along the muscle to the, the end where the tendon is uh, and that's this, the same idea that we're going to apply with this so it's like giving yourself a self massage I'll get down on the floor and demonstrate some of the movements. I'll use the bocce ball today because it's going to be a little bit easier for you to see. Okay, so whether you're using a golf ball or a bocce ball, the idea is exactly the same. I'm going to use the bocce ball today for demonstration. It'll be a little easier for you to see. And what I'm going to start off doing is placing the bocce ball on my upper glute. I've got my feet in pretty close to my body here, and I'm leaning back a little bit more. And all I'm going to do is start rolling forward a little bit. And as I'm rolling the ball towards the front of my glutes, I'm tilting my body up. I'm putting more pressure forward on my body. And I'm just going nice and slow. And I want to find those trigger points. So right now my inner glutes, so far not too bad. A little tender, but no knots. And there's a knot right in my lower glute area. And it hurts. It'll kind of grab you at first when you feel that, that, that pain of the knot. And the idea is to kind of take a relaxing deep breath and let your body sink down. As much as it hurts, you want to relax and let that knot work out, work itself out. You're going to feel it pulsating and working down. And as soon as it stops pulsating, you can stop, start moving 
a little more forward again. I'm just a little tense in that lower glute area. And I'm going to shift over a little bit and roll back up. So right now I'm going in a back and forth movement. So far so good. Nice and slow. I just felt a little a quick pulse there. So it wasn't a, a big knot. And, and I didn't really have to hold it for, uh, for any period. It just kind of worked itself out as I went along it. And I'm rolling right up to the top of that glue. I'm going to shift over a little bit more. So as I'm going more towards the hip, as I mentioned, when you have some knots in your glutes, it often impacts your hip flexors and your IT band. So you want to make sure you get work your weight from the inside of the glute out to the outside. So notice how my knees are going to start tilting to the towards the floor a little bit more as I'm working this outer glute in there. So it's my outer outer glute area that's a little bit tighter today and I've got to hold this. It's pulsating and the interesting thing right now is this knot that it's pulsating, it's it's pulsating right down to my spine. And that's as I mentioned, that, that's that's why this glutes my the knot in my glute is causing lower back pain. Because that knot was starting here on my outer glute. The pulsating, I could feel shoot right to my lower spine, the sacrum area here. So this knot is kind of pulling on my spine, kind of pulling it out of position there. And that's what's causing some of that lower back tension. Shift over here for a second. So I'll just keep working down and continue finding those knots. And it's right now, I'm definitely finding a couple of the knots right along the outer glutes. So I'm just going to hold it. This is a nice slow process. Don't rush through it. You want to really take your time and work each of these knots out. Go right over your entire glute. Find those knots. Hold it. Relax. Just really relax. Try to work through that pain. As you relax, as you, you'll feel your glutes relax and the, the, the tension will begin to subside as you kind of sink into the ball. I spend about 10 minutes on each glute, usually early in the morning. And uh, if my, my back is really tense, really tight in that lower back area, and I know it's because of the knots in my glutes, I'll probably do this twice a day. So that works out to like 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. And I'm going to work. So now I'm going to end up, as I'm working the outer glute here, I'm leaning right over to the side and rolling right along. I'm like, I feel it's like going right now I'm at the point where I'm going right along the bone so not on the bone because that'll hurt but you want to massage it look for those trigger points right along the bone. <laughs> I'm feeling it there so I'm gonna let it hold. I've really got to relax. Let my body sink into the ball and it's gone and roll right up to the top. So at this point I'll kind of lean right over on my forearm here and roll right up as high as I can here and then come on back down. So I showed you right now I've been going side, I mean, I've been going up and down and my leg has been in a bent position. You'll feel it differently if your leg is straight out. So. I find with my leg bent, I'll find more knots that way than if my leg is straight like this. But with your leg straight, you can kind of roll right along your hammies and your IT band if you wanted to. Uh, but knee bent is great going front, front to back. Uh, but I also like to go from side to side. So I'll start on the outer hip here and roll myself in to the center. There is a knot. So that's a little, a little bit closer. So my, my glutes are fairly knotted up. I played uh, hockey two nights ago. It's the first game of the season. So my glutes are a little bit tight from, from that. Little knots that weren't causing me any severe tightness, but I did notice that I had a little tightness in my lower back. And I'm going to go right to my spine there. And then I'm going to come up to the outer hip again outer glute and slowly work my way in down my lower glute. My, my lower outer glutes are really tight right now. 
So, probably not the most exciting thing for you to watch me. Ah, that's a knot for sure. It's pulsing. Yeah, to watch me massage my, my glutes here, but I gotta tell you, if you're experiencing lower back tension and tightness, soreness in your lower back, and it's because of tight glutes or knots in your glutes, I, I'm telling you, this is gonna be worth its weight in gold. Uh, as you apply this technique, 10 minutes per glute, once or twice a day for seven to 14 days, it, it, it's, it works like magic. If you've got knots in your glutes, you will notice relief um, in your lower back. Now after I spend some time on each glute, I like to stretch it out a little bit with a glute stretch and you can just lie down on your back, bring your leg up, and you can just stretch it out like this if you want, bring your leg up, or you can wrap one arm around your knee, the other end on top of your shin, and you pull both of them towards your chest, and you can almost drive this your knee towards the opposite shoulder. You want to feel that stretch right along the outer glute area region there. So you'll stretch out both sides, and then I like to roll over, get my butt down on my heels, my hands out in front of me, stretch out the lower back a bit, and the glutes, and the, and the hip flexors. And if you've done it correctly, if you've taken the time to really allow those knots to pulse themselves out and you've relaxed yourself while you're allowing it to pulsate, as soon as you get up, you're going to feel instant relief. It's not going to be completely gone or anything like that, but you'll feel that tension. Uh, it'll be greatly reduced during that time, and the more that you do it, the more you keep this up, uh, the better off you'll be. Even if you're not experiencing lower back pain at the moment, but you like to do lunges, squats, deadlifts, you like to run or play sports, I still recommend that you do this exercise because why wait till it's, it's too late? It's nice preventative therapy for yourself. It's like giving yourself your own personal massage. It hurts. It's not fun at first if you got a lot of knots in there, but as you work yourself out and you do this more frequently, it's going to get easier and easier. I hope you enjoyed those tips and uh, if you apply them, Please let me know uh, how it works and if it relieves any of that tension again. Work the entire glute right from the spine out to the hips. Massage all that area out. Let me know how it goes and uh, I hope it relieves some of your lower back tension and soreness.